dear students you have been already familiar how to draw a margin and a title block on an autocad software now we are going to draw an ellipse by eccentricity method in autocad software in this problem you have been familiar that they have been given your focus distance has been 35 mm from your fixed straight line and your eccentricity has been 3 by 4 by using this we have a calculation where to find your vertex point and we have found out your vertex point as 15 mm from your focus point first i have to draw my directrix line d d dash for that i am going to use your line command first click your line and make a click on your screen and just move your mouse towards your y direction and you make your second click there is no need for your dimension for a directrix line or it is also called as fixed line then press your escape button once again click your line button move your mouse over your line which has been drawn when you move it uh, you will be getting an triangle which indicates your midpoint of your fixed line on that point make a click move towards the x direction and have a click over here to get a line so now we have drawn your directrix line which is a vertical line and we have drawn a major axis line which is a horizontal line next i need to mark your focus point so what i am going to do is i am going to change your line thickness so it will be easy to identify your focus point so i am going to select this point 35 mm once again i have just clicked your line when i place my mouse pointer over here you will be changing into a square symbol so be clear students whenever you have an intersection point your mouse pointer will be changing into a square symbol i just made a click over here move to your x direction and i have typed your dimension as 15 then i have pressed your escape button now this is your focus point now once again i change your line settings to bilayer condition now i am going to mark your vertex point first i am going to click your line button from your focus point move your mouse to your x direction that is on your left direction and you enter 15 and move to your y direction and you enter 15 because our vertex point is 15 mm from your focus okay and press enter at last escape now next i need to draw an inclined infinite line for that i am going to use your you can use your ray command or you can able to select it over here so over here if you click the draw a draw box will be dropping on the fourth command will be your ray command just click that and first i am going to click this point next i am going to select this point so i will be getting an infinite ray line which has been drawn and i have pressed your escape button next i need to offset your lines so i am going to use your offset distance as 15 mm your offset distance is sorry it is 10 mm first on your command bar type offset o double f s e t enter select you have to get the distance i am going to move my offset distance as 10 enter and i have selected your line which to be offsetted and move to your right hand side i have just made a click similarly i am going to offset 15 lines so totally 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so after offsetting your completed press your escape button now i need to extend these offset lines towards this infinite ray line okay for that i can use your command extend e x t e n d shortcut for your extend command is e x okay just press enter you have to just click your lines so if you just click your lines it will be extending towards your boundary okay so i just clicked your lines so that it has been extending towards your boundary so when you select each and every line your line will be extended okay now i have extended all your lines and then once again i have pressed your escape button now i need to know the dimension of these lines then only i can mark you uh, circles to get your uh, intersection points for that i am going to use my measure command if i click your measure over here if i just placed over this line you will be getting your dimensions so the first line is 22.5 your second line is 30 your third 37.5 and your next one is 45 52.5 60 67.5 75 then 82.5 then 90 97.5 105 112.5 120 so i have not placed your mouse uh, anything student i just moved your mouse over that line automatically it indicates your dimensions clear so first 
I am going to click my circle. Okay, it will be asking to select your center point. Your focus point is your center. I just selected it. Our first radius is 22.5. Enter it. Then once again I clicked your circle. I have selected my focus point. My second radius is 30. Enter. Similarly, I clicked your circle. I selected your focus point, and your third radius is 37.5. Enter. Then once again circle. I clicked your focus point. Your next radius is 45. Enter. Your once again I clicked your circle. Your focus point is center. Your next dimension is 52.5. Similarly, your circle. Select your focus point. Your dimension will be 60. Once again, circle. Click your center point. Your dimension will be 67.5. Okay. Once again, you select your circle. Click your center point. Your next dimension is 75. See, we have to do until the circle cuts your major axis. See, now I have drawn a circle over here. It has been cutting over here. This is the intersection point for this line. Okay. So next time, draw your circle. I just selected your center point. Your next radius is 82.5. See, it is being cutted at this point. Okay. Once again, I am repeating circle. Center point 90. So it is being intersecting at this point. Okay. Your next. Once again, I have drawn your circle. Center point. Your dimension is 97.5. See, it is intersected at this point. Once again, I have drawn a circle command. Center point. I have just given my radius as 105. See, this 105, it automatically intersects only on your major axis, not on the line. So, with this, I am going to stop your drawing your circle. No need to draw the circle for these two lines because it has been already cutted your major axis. Okay. Next, I am going to just zoom. For zooming, you just roll your center uh, mouse button, so automatically it starts to zoom. Okay, I am going to. I cannot. Uh, I am going to use your break command to cut your circle as your arc. For that, your shortcut for your break command is B R, or you can type it as break. Okay, B R E A K. Enter. So what I am going to do is, I am going to just select this point and move to your this point. So I got a arc. Similarly, I am going to use your break. Enter, select your point, move to this point. Similarly, I am repeating the same break command. See, break, enter. I have just selected this point and this point. Okay. So if you use your top arrow, you will be getting your previous used command. I have just pressed your top arrow. Automatically, it comes your break. I have just entered and I have selected this point and this point. Once again, break, enter. Select this point and this point. Once again, I press your top arrow, break, enter this point and this point. Similarly, break, enter. I selected this point and this point. Similarly, break, enter. I just press this point and this point. Once again, break, enter. Selected this point and this point. Similarly, break, enter. I selected this point and this point. Similarly, break, enter. I selected this point and this point. Now. I got your intersection points. Okay. The next step, I'm going to join all this intersection point by spline command. Your command will be spline. S P L I N E. Enter. Okay. So see, be clear, students. Now we are going to zoom and we are going to select it properly. This is my first point. See, whenever you get your intersection points, you have to be very clear. It should be on into mark. You are able to view. Yeah, I got an into mark. That should be selected. See. We we have to zoom it and see to that you get your into mark. I just made your second click. See over here, it should be an into mark, students, because your arc intersection should be an into mark. Okay, I select a point. Once again, I moved your mouse by center click. I just uh, panned your window. Okay, my next point. This is my next point. Okay, for moving, I just uh, hold pressed your center button and I moved towards your. Uh, Uh, right hand side so that it has been panning okay see over here i just zoomed it and i selected this point okay once again i move uh, press your center roll button to move to left hand side so that it will be easy for us for moving sorry for the interruption sorry students i just made a click uh, uh, so just listen so i selected this point once again your next point okay Always remember, students, you are going to select your intersection point. It should be an into mark. 
into mark this be a major thing you have to remember then only it is being correctly selected this is your second next here also i have selected for into point at last i came over here i have selected after selecting your entire point you should not press your escape if you press your escape it will be your spline whatever drawn will be erased so whenever you use your spline command after it completely done you have to press your enter button then only a spline will be created now you can see a spline is being drawn clear everybody now what i am going to do is i am going to mirror i am going to use mirror command okay so first what i am going to do is i have just selected your mirror over here okay and it will be asking you to select your object i have just made a click over here and i have just made a click at your bottom see to that all your lines have been collected see this incline is not selected so i just selected this and i also selected this line after selecting all your lines press enter it will be asking you to specify your first point of your mirror line this is my first point and then i am going to select my second point it will be asking you to select your uh, erase your source subject we are not going to erase your source subject so i just click no so automatically now you have got your ellipse clear students now i am going to draw your tangent and normal so for drawing a tangent they are given on the problem they are given your on your problem it has been tangent normal at any point of your curve okay so what i am going to do is i have just zoomed it and i have just moving towards your downward direction and uh, i have just selected a line i placed a point over here because it is any point so i only place the point on a curve okay and i have joined your focus point and press escape now i need to draw a 90 degree line to uh, from this point it will be difficult to draw 90 degree from here so what i am going to do is first i am going to select your line i am going to place a line or point over here and i move uh, just press your f8 to make your ortho off okay now i need a perpendicular line to this so what i am going to do is i am going to right click okay o snap overrides and it will be saying it is perpendicular so automatically what happens it will be indicating a point where see this and all it is not perpendicular it is automatically indicating this is my perpendicular point in able to view it i just made a click it okay and escape next what i am going to do is i am going just to move this line i have selected this line i will be clicking your move point and i will be selecting this as a base point and i will be placing at this condition so i got an intersection so i have an extended line so what i am going to do is i am going to select your trim and i just trimmed it clear everybody next i am going to click your line from this point i am going to join this point and i just extended it okay so i just extended it because we need a tangent so the line which i have drawn is a tangent now i need to draw a normal line i have to draw a normal line for that it should be perpendicular to this point this line so what i am going to do is once again i just click the line okay i just made it once again right click o snap overrides i am going to select your perpendicular see it indicates this is my perpendicular point i just clicked it clear so once again i am going to zoom it okay i have selected this line i am going to move enter i am going to select this is my base point and it's over here okay now i am going to just mirror this line okay so then only i'll be getting so mirror enter it is asking to mirror line so i am just mirroring your mirror line i'm sorry once again i will select uh, mirror click your line okay then it will be asking after selecting object press enter it will be asking your mirror line so this is my first point this is my second point okay it will be asking you to erase your source subject no so i got my normal point okay now we are going to dark lines so i need this ellipse should be darkened and this tangent normal should be in darker line so i have just selected this and i have just indicated with an dark lines as 0.30 now you can see you will be getting a dark lines for your ellipse at last i am going to mark your dimensions okay i am going to mark your dimensions for that you can see over here linear okay so before you start your dimension we are going to set your dimension styles for that your command is dim style d i m s t y l e enter a dialog box will be opening you click modify 
click modify over here you will be having your symbols and arrows see to that your arrow size is 4 mm then on your next tab text see to that your text height is 5 mm and your next tab primary units see to that you have been set it as 0, 0.00 ok and click ok close now I am going to just click this first I am going to get sure your vertex point distance I just made a click and I got your vertex point is 20 mm from your directrix line and once again I have just clicked this point linear from here to here I got my focus point as 35 mm so with this we have drawn your ellipse see the line has been moving, be moving beyond your lines so for once again I am going to click your trim I just selected this part. so automatically what happens the line has been trimmed so with this we have drawn your ellipse on your AutoCAD software by eccentricity method and we have drawn your tangent normal also thank you for listening your lecture students thank you all